Eritrean soldiers killed hundreds of civilians in Ethiopia's ancient town of Aksum, Amnesty International said on Friday, in one of several alleged mass killings in the northern Tigray region. The town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site famed for its obelisks and ancient churches, and was a flashpoint of the conflict that started in early November. The rights group said the massacre took place over a 24-hour period starting on November the 28th. That's the same day that Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed declared victory over the rebellious Tigrayan People's Liberation Front. The TPLF and many residents said Eritrean soldiers were supporting Abiy's forces, though the Ethiopian and Eritrean governments have previously denied this. Amnesty said the killings were a retaliation for an attack by local militia and that soldiers executed men and boys in the streets and engaged in extensive looting. The Ethiopian government's emergency task force for Tigray said investigations were underway. The state-run Ethiopian Human Rights Commission has released a statement timed to coincide with the amnesty report, saying preliminary investigations indicated Eritrean soldiers had killed an unknown number of civilians. That, the EHRC said, was in retaliation for an earlier attack by TPLF soldiers. The head of the government-appointed interim administration in Tigray said the police and judiciary were investigating. Eritrea's foreign minister did not respond to requests for comment.